Less than 35 years after its incorporation, Sioux City planned to become the next Chicago. The population quintupled in the 1880s and the packing industry grew to the fourth largest in the world. By 1890, 54 passenger trains passed through daily and by year's end, 100,000 freight cars. The explosion in growth and innovation was celebrated with an annual corn palace. The city was also quick to bid and win a university association from the Northwest Iowa Conference of the Methodist Episcopal Church. Founded as the University of the Northwest, the cornerstone for the College of Technology, now Charles City College Hall, was laid on July 4, 1890, notably declared to be a school for both men and women, thank God for that, by Bishop Thomas Bauman. After the nationwide panic of 1893, the school struggled and was not actually adopted by the Northwest Iowa Conference. The conference moved to establish a conference college to take over the existing site. On December 5, 1894, President G.W. Carr and his commission filed articles of incorporation with the Woodbury County Recorder for Morningside College. While classes would not start until September of 1895, Morningside College had begun. And on September 11th, classes officially began with a record number of 196 students. Morningside's founders believed this could be one of the greatest colleges in the nation. Through early growing pains, difficult economies, and even fire, Morningside prevailed. Over decades of war, peace, technological advances, and struggle, Morningside prevailed. Though it prevailed, by the turn of the new millennium, Morningside was faced with a set of challenges around outdated facilities, declining enrollment, years of deficit spending, and athletic teams with few winning seasons. Something had to be done, so the board, faculty, staff, and students band together with President John Reinders early in his tenure. A new plan was formed and a transformation was put in motion. From 2002 to 2009, This Is Our Moment, the campaign for Morningside College became the most successful fundraising campaign in Morningside history, successfully procuring $45.2 million for facility improvements, scholarships, and endowment funding, all focused on the student experience. What followed was a period of growth and change that would rival any in the college's history. President John Reinders said, excellence is an amorphous goal, it changes. Most dramatically, almost the entire campus was systematically renovated, updated, built upon, and physically reoriented to place students at the center. Student life was enriched by campus visits from nationally prominent speakers and scholars and residents. It was a cultural shift for the campus. People weren't watching a vision unfold. They were helping to unfold their own vision, stated the Chronicle of Higher Education. From 2001 to 2016, Morningside enrollment went from 996 students to a record-breaking 2,902 resulting in landing at seventh place on the list of the nation's 20 fastest growing private nonprofit baccalaureate colleges. Through 125 years of much change, challenge, growth, and opportunity, Morningside today is on track to be everything its founders dreamt of and more. It will be the continued support of a strong community that carries us into the next 125 years.